Next patient, age 73, again a brain pathology which shows cerebral atrophy with ischemic changes, cerebral atrophy with ischemic changes, I will pass on the reports so you can have a look and a meningioma, meningioma is a tumour in the meninges. Initially, he's been under treatment since 2014, so quite a long time again. Initially, he had headaches and there was an attack of unconsciousness. The headaches were mostly on the vertex. Better by pressure. He was worse from mental exertion, eye strain, mental exertion made the headache worse. There was reeling, you know, like a vertigo, he used to, there was a feeling as if I would fall forward. So when he was walking, there was a feeling as of falling forward, you know, like what you get with Parkinson's, right. Lot of weakness, lot of weakness. He was hypertensive. Dry mouth with lot of thirst. He had mucus in his stools. Sometimes he was constipated as well. Interrupted flow of urine. Interrupted flow of urine. And he had, he had to wake up at night for urination as well. He had a lot of tremor in his hands. He liked very hot food. Uh, didn't mention about any flavors, just hot, you know, like oh, very uh, piping hot food. It starts, then stops, again it starts in that way. Sometimes with prosthetic enlargement, you can get interrupted flow of urine. Right. So his major concern was the headache at that point of time, right? So I didn't have a very big totality, to be very honest. 2014, we had started in this case with picric acid. You recall we have shared this medicine with you quite often, picric acid. Points for picric acid? Exhaustion, yes. You have debility, you have headache from mental exertion, <sighs> better from pressure. So even in a chronic case, you can think of picric acid with these conditions, right? Lot of debility, headache better by pressure, right? I thought of gelsemium. But he was very thirsty, right? You understand gelsemium is generally thirstless, right? Gelsemium comes close with thirstlessness, with the debility. So we started with picric acid, 200 C. We went up to 1 M with picric acid. There was a little bit of improvement with the headache. But it kept coming back. Little bit of improvement, but it kept coming back. We changed to Bryonia in 2015, October. Why Bryonia? Headache, better from pressure, right? In a patient who is thirsty with dryness in his mouth. Simple prescription of Bryonia. Bryonia has improved quite a lot up to 2018. There's tremor, fine tremor in his right hand. 2018, we changed the plan of treatment to both drops. I'm sure we have talked about both drops, right, my friends, earlier on. Cases of cerebrovascular accident where there is right sided paratic symptoms, right sided paralytic symptoms. 
three things for both throbs if you recall this vision is affected this speech is affected and right sided paretic symptoms he mentioned about the right sided tremors at that point of time vision was poor and whenever you have if you see the report it shows ischemic ischemic changes as there is lack of blood supply to a particular part right and both throbs can take care of that as well right open both throbs please in borike if you can kemon achen bhalo achen sir oshubidha kichu ei matha ta te betha ekhon ar hoy na to ar eta pore jaben mone hoto सामने hemiplegia with aphasia nervous trembling pain in the right toes so right sided neurological symptoms either it could be paralytic symptoms even it could be tremor you understand what i mean i repeat again vision is affected speech is affected and right sided paralytic symptoms or even tremors both drops work well for arterial trauma yes can be depending on the manifestations as well yeah so the vision and his right sided trembling was the points we didn't have speech you know if you have even two of the three you can go with both drops yes please use this medicine my friends i'm sure in cases of cerebral uh, stroke or in case of paralysis you have tried causticum you have tried plumbum go back to those cases look out those cases try both drops in some of them believe me you'll have very efficient and good results in with both drops right when your causticum isn't helping you maybe your plumbum isn't helping you try both drops if you have these features to go along with it yes, yes he had he had a report he already had a report with that but you understand generally these cases of cerebral atrophy they progress or they deteriorate mm-hmm. quite a lot as mm-hmm. well over time mm-hmm. right yeah. it's been 5 years yeah. it has been stable with that uh-huh. if you see they have mentioned in the report that it is com- the um the something was comparatively stable so i always ask them to do a uh, comparative finding with the previous report and they said it was stable right so that was also one of the points um initially i didn't get um that degree of trembling he didn't mention that as you know time progressed uh, he mentioned about that it's more right side and that's why initially 2014 and 15 when he came to us headache was his predominant problem right that got better in about 2017 so we know we brainia picric acid took care of that aspect right yeah, yeah. so the headache was not there after 2018 right on the medicine i want you to have a look please uh if you open your borike for manganum aceticum manganum aceticum have you, anyone tried this medicine it the the symptoms of manganum correspond exactly to what you have with parkinsons open manganum please i'm not i'm not telling you that it will definitely help you a case of man- with parkinsons parkinsons is very difficult to treat right but some cases you may have a response with manganum to be very honest the success is very limited with parkinsons right if you open manganum why i'm saying manganum in context with this case if you look in the extremities section of manganum aceticum look in the extremity section please it mentions walk stooping forward tendency to fall forward so you have those exact features with him as well right so at one point of time i did think of manganum right we understand a geriatric case can be symptoms of parkinsons as well right but manganum will have a lot of stiffness if you look in the extremity section stiffness in muscles of legs every part of the body is sore so a lot of stiffness in manganum p 
peculiar slapping gait walks on metacarbophalangeal joint you know walks on the toes like you have sometimes with different neurological conditions so they walk on the tiptoes you got that everyone manganam mm -hmm. we have another medicine who walks like this they pick up their feet you understand what I mean it's called like a stamping gait you understand the pick up and you know they can't feel that when the legs are falling down open your boricay please hello dharma H E L O D E R M A, hello dharma. We call that as the stamping gait. You understand manganam is walking on the toes, tiptoes, right? Like a horse. Whereas in case of hello dharma, so it's like a stamping gait. You can just prescribe hello dharma based on the gait, walking. Open hello dharma, please, in Borike. It's prepared from, I think, a lizard or something like that. It's a lizard, isn't it? Reptile. Big reptile, okay. If you're there in Heloderma extremities, when walking lifts the feet higher than usual, puts down the heel hard. So that kind of stamping gait. You got that? Heloderma. You can prescribe just on the basis of gait. We have prescribed Heloderma in the slum clinic just on the basis of gait with fairly good results. Not <coughs> remarkable, but I'll say fairly good results. Yeah. yeah, because they cannot feel, you know, the, uh, the impact, impact as well as the coordination is defective. So you know, they are being so higher potencies. Yeah, 200 C, 1 M. Yes, higher potencies. <coughs> so gait. Please put those two medicines in your clinical tips for gait. Manganum if it's tiptoes. Hello, Dharma. If it's walking on stamping and who walks like this legs crossed crossed gait you have that in abrotenum crossing of the legs you understand sometimes abrotenum children may sit like this even this sitting position the legs are crossed even sometimes when they are walking crossed gait you know you have that to a certain extent abrotenum we get some cases of cerebral palsy where they always have a crossed gait you know the legs are always in a crossed fashion they won't even if the mum makes it straight will still do like this you have that in abrotenum 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 we have gone up to 1m with both throps he has been stable he gen we generally see him in 12 weeks time because you understand he's been doing stable so I give him medicines for 12 weeks and he follows up accordingly. Last prescription was Bothrops 1M in November. So we are not doing anything today, we are boosting. Headaches are much better. The tendency to fall has reduced. His debility has improved. Only thing which he has mentioned is the right sided tremor. But he wants to continue treatment, you understand, for the um, brain pathology, right? Although he's asymptomatic at the moment, right? We are trying to cover that with the medication, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah.